Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. The head of uh, CEOs, self acclaimed head of CEOs of UAG, have come out to speak. I want you to listen to what he's saying. I just really want you to listen to what he's saying and don't be misled. Just put it in your mind that what he's saying is very, very controversial. Just put it in your mind. I can't make a decision for you. I can't conclude for you. But what I have to say is you have to be wise and be careful because hmm, deceptions are everywhere. Deceptions are everywhere at this moment. So listen to him. Pay keen attention. Pay keen attention. You will know where he's arriving at. See you on the other side. Good evening. Nigerian masses. Good evening, all subscribers of uh, all grants in Nigeria. More especially, UAAG slash UAS grants. Good evening to all genuine fighters of the disbursement of our grants. Special thanks to those who are fighting for the good of the dying masses of Nigeria. It is important I come your way this night at this particular time. This is 10.50 p.m. on a talks day by the special grace of God, the 25th day of July, 2024. Yes, so many people have been calling. So many people have been asking. Today is Thursday. Yesterday is Friday. Where are we and what is happening? My dear people, all CEOs in Nigeria, the major subscribers of all grants in Nigeria. It is time I let you know that your time of panic, your time of hopelessness, your time of spending on nothing has come to end or to an end because so many at times so many of us don't understand where we are and what we are doing because so many people have bought in our brains to their selves thinking they can control it forever but at a time god raises people who will always help us out today by the special grace of god so many people have been fighting for you and we felt they are doing that on their own. Special thanks to those who are now understanding the game and the system and knowing what is really playing out. As a person I am Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyamu. Whether you believe it or not, I will tell you that so many people have used our brain. But to God who made me and you, we must bring them to book. I don't need anybody's permission to do that. I must do that when the time comes with all CEOs in Nigeria. You either be there or you are not there. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't concern me. You can do whatever you want to do at the background. I have my foundations. I have my platforms here and there. You may not really know where I'm coming from. And that is just the truth. But I will fight my battle to the end. Today, so many people have despised their bosses. So many have 
tried to make sure they nail their bosses and they have nailed actually their bosses which is very wrong and very bad those people may think they are saying the truth but i must tell you they are the most foolish human beings on earth to have betrayed their masters no matter what happens you can always put your master right you can always correct your master that somebody is your master does not mean he cannot take correction from you Special thanks to my friend, Chief Akogu. Special thanks to our own Eda Stickman. Eda Stickman. You know, when we talk of uh, him, and I love the way he always come on but he always say Eda Stateman Abacheno. Well, he may not know me, but I know him. You know, sometimes you may condemn human beings not knowing where they're coming from. But everybody can make mistakes. But when someone realizes his mistake and turns back, you are not God not to forgive that person. If God has forgiven that person, the person should be forgiven. So many who made mistakes and comes back for forgiveness should be granted forgiveness. But those who felt they are evil, they cannot come out to say sorry or admit to their mistakes, can always remain in their mistakes and die with their mistakes because they felt they are who I don't know what to put it, but they felt they are the Almighty, which they are not. They are just nothing. Somebody created them, this is God, and they cannot be more than God. My dear people, it is a night of reckoning, and I must tell you that we, the CEOs, have gone very far. And maybe those of you who think we are still where we are, maybe do one or two things that you don't understand. I must tell you that our matter has gone very far beyond what you are thinking. And don't even think you will be escaping whatever we are doing. Because you who have scammed the masses as a handler, grand handler, or as whoever you call yourself must be brought to book when the time comes. I am the one speaking to you. I don't make noise and I don't come all the time to speak. I'm speaking today because it's important I speak to you. Continue to pray for the government committee because indeed they are working even though something has manipulated them some time ago they have realized it's their self. And everything is now right. I must tell you that. Evil doesn't last long. I must tell you, evil doesn't last long. Once the truth is being realized, the evil plans dies immediately. And also, I must tell you to pray and they commit the government committee into the hand of God because they are at the verge of doing the right thing immediately. Immediately. Let me tell you this, whether I believe it or not, some people say I am for protecting and I'm with Apostle Ken and UAAG, this and that. Hear me and hear me well. Speaking to you is no other person but Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyangu. I am standing for the masses. The Nigerian CEOs who have subscribed, who are the, the major beneficiaries, major stakeholders of all grants in Nigeria. I am making sure that things they have subscribed for comes true and they get what they subscribe for. I will never stop until they get what they subscribe for. 
let me tell you maybe so many of you are only hearing in the ear they are not seeing it manifesting many have died many have lost their everything moving their jobs i'm talking of what i know many have been excommunicated from their families many have been injected out of their homes many have even their children have been dropped out of schools many are completely hopeless having nothing to hold in their hands as i speak to you why must some individuals stand up to begin to still continue in causing more pain to this dying hearts of poor nigerians so many sold their cars so many sold their houses so many sold their properties because of all this instead of us fighting a common just supporting what we subscribe for we turn against that in the name of what why are we turning against the hand that fed us or why must we fight where we are expecting what we subscribe for why can a reasonable person answer me this question if there is any obstacle where we subscribe for can't we join hands together and make sure that that same socks in which we subscribe for we get what we subscribe for why must we not turn against that all of a sudden because we have been manipulated because we're not using our brain anymore today i'm telling you it is important to go to your knees wherever you are pray to god almighty for forgiveness return back and you will be forgiven return genuinely from your heart and you will be forgiven do not tear your clothes but tear your innermost heart for repentance and god will surely forgive you because we have all done bad to the system we have corrupted the system we have in fact done a lot of damages to the system please all ceos in nigeria all of you who are major stakeholders in all grants in nigeria pray for the management of uaag pray for our country director this man i must tell you the truth is doing his best it is only god who has been guiding him if not man who's supposed to be with him have all despised him they have all pushed him into the deepest pit of this dungeon of whatever it is or ocean to die but god has been with this man well believe it or throw it away i am for everybody but we all subscribe to uaag and the country director is Apostle Professor Ambassador Ken Makama. Believe it or throw it away, he is our country director. All you owe him is prayers. He's not asking for any other thing. And we cannot throw him away. It's not possible at all. People are fighting him from all corners. Please, I beg every one of you, sit in your comfort zone. Think and come back to your senses. And I want to tell you this. We are not waiting longer anymore. What we are looking for, by the grace of God, is before us, is with us. All the agitators, let me tell you, we are going to fight. If things turn around, maybe those people who felt they want to see fight us, see continue to do that to god who made me and you and they were speaking to you you will see me on t- television you see me everywhere to god who made me and you i will fight with the last blood i have
to make sure all these people have been exposed. The time has not come for this because there is good news coming our ways. And what is that good news? There is disbursement coming. And it's coming any moment from now. Do not expect me to tell you today or tomorrow that our disbursement is coming. Everybody to shield his or her sword. Calm yourself down. I'm speaking to you this now because I know I have done everything I need to do to get the right information so that I can pass it to you today. My dear beloved subscribers, my dear major stakeholders, I beg every one of you, calm yourself down. Your money is coming. What you subscribe for is coming. You have waited for years, six years, five years, seven years, eight years, nine years, now will not kill you. Even if we stay for more one week or more two weeks or more one month, it will not kill you. But the truth is that there is money to this boss. Calm yourself down and the money actually is coming. It's already with us. Relax yourselves. All you need to do now is to make sure that you do not stress yourselves again. You do not join those people who felt they can manipulate things against me, against you, over all these whole things. They can no longer do it. God is at work. And our God will not disappoint us by the special grace of the Almighty. I beg every one of you, relax yourselves. Calm down, because before you know what is happening, your money will be before you. The money will be in your account, and you will see it koro koro before you. Please don't expect me to say more than I'm saying to you, but calm your spirits, calm your minds. Things are fine. Things have not gone wrong. If it, does, if it does not happen today, it may happen tomorrow. And it will surely happen tomorrow by the special grace of God. You should believe and understand what I'm saying. Calm yourself down. Relax. And I want to tell you, everything is fine. Any moment from now, you will hear that which you want to hear. I beg every one of you. I have been on it. I've been working on it, and the God is helping us. The National Committee are working so hard with me. All the security agencies I know are working very hard with me. And they, I must tell you, we must deliver. God is at work. We are not leaving any stone unturned. God is at work. Relax your minds. Be calm. Special thanks again to all who are fighting well. The Era Council of Nigeria, Grant Ecosystem, I appreciate you all. The, from the Chairman of Era Councils, the Secretary and all Executive and all members of Era Council, please continue to press harder and work in unison with us. The CEOs are not sleeping. We are not even waiting for anybody to give us their support before we make any move we want to make. You can agree with me on that. Thank you to Chief Akogu, a very good friend of mine also, who will come out to tell you what he knows and the truth he knows about what is happening and so many people will begin to crucify him telling him to shut up don't talk again well i will not be telling you not to speak because you have data to speak continue to speak but tomorrow we tell tomorrow we tell those of us who are deceiving themselves continue but tomorrow we definitely tell and when that tomorrow comes don't blame anybody your fight will make no meaning and it will be sexless. It will be useless. Guide yourself. 
stop waking up wrongly from your bed and looking for who to attack. Face your problem first of all. Deliver yourself first of all before you can face the general public. So many of us are having serious issues with ourselves and we are coming to face the general public, which cannot help us at all. So today, I'm coming your way to let you know that God is at work. And our money, by the grace of God, is there. And everybody will receive the money. Please pray harder. Those who are pastors, those who are imams, the money, it doesn't matter the religion you belong to. All I'm asking you is please leave talk, leave listening to people, leave people who are deceiving you by telling you. Uh, pay money or no pay money, they want to disburse or they don't want to disburse. I beg every one of you, do not again send your dime to anybody who calls himself a grand handler in the name of disbursement. Do not pay your dime to them. They are deceivers and we must bring them to book. I'm telling you this. They are deceivers and they we must bring them to book and they will answer. I'm telling you this. I'm not in any way compromising. I'm not speaking with the two sides of my mouth. I'm telling you the truth. I know about it. Calm yourself down. Please, again, I beg every one of you. Scamming, extortion must stop henceforth in the grand echo system in nigeria do not again allow anyone to do that to you if anybody asks you to pay anything because disbursement is coming some people are claiming they are coordinators of some state for disbursement they are all liars nothing of such is anywhere nothing of such is anywhere nobody is any coordinator of any disbursement of any state anybody telling you all those things they are the highest criminals and thieves do not listen to them calm yourself down your money is coming and god will help us to get this money in our account i will not tell you today or tomorrow but it's not again going to take the time you are thinking relax relax have peace may god be with every one of us May God be with every one of us. Our God is in heaven. Here on earth is his full stone. And he is taking charge and control of everything. We are on the watch. We are on the watch. Those who are in Abuja, executive of all CEOs in Nigeria and Abuja, the national executives, all the committees, both the national and other committees, we are meeting on Wednesday. The National PRO will pass that message across to us. And that day, we are going to have a very special visitor. Thank you. I remain blessed. I beg you to calm your minds down. Do not panic. Because of what we are looking for, they are already with us. What we are looking for is already with us. Our God has not disappointed us. Our God has not failed us. Thank you and do have a blessed night rest. I remain your humble leader, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyangu. God bless you all. Until I come your way again. Thank you all.